it's Nate, and today I'm going to show you how to perform parallel programming using Node.js worker threads. It's commonly known amongst Node developers that Node.js is single-threaded and executes tasks one at a time. With the use of workers, you'll be able to run different processes at the same time. There are cons, however, such as increased memory consumption, and the fact that the implementation of worker threads and programming can be a little tricky to understand. However, the advantages far outweigh the cons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reap the benefits of worker threads so that you can run heavy processing a lot faster by delegating different tasks to workers. Let's get started. So here we have a simple program that can calculate the sum of all the numbers within a given array. Here's our function. And over here, we're just logging the result that it returns. So this input array is just four numbers, one, two, three, and four, and the result should be 10. So if we were to execute this, this would log 10 to the console as expected. So what we want to do is we want to leverage the worker capability in Node.js so that we outsource this processing to a different thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this function or cut it and just paste it into our worker.js file. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to require the process dependency from node or import it. And then once we do that, we're going to want to add an event listener for messages. And then our callback function. going to want to look out for a message with a command type of uh, array sum and we'll just do that using a switch statement And so what we want to do now is we just want to reply back with the result. And so reply back with the result. And we'll just call our get array sum function with the input being the array that uh, the parent process sends. So we'll just pass message.data. And that should do it for our worker. So now what we're going to want to do here in the main thread is we're going to want to import the child process dependency. And let's define our worker. Child process will set it equal to child process dot fork. And then we're going to want to put the path of our worker JS file. And since we're depending on an external process for our desired result, um, we're going to want to write asynchronous JavaScript code. So we'll just write our or define our get array sum function again that passes an array as its input parameter. And we want it to return a promise. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do worker.send. We want our command to be array sum 
and our data value to be the incoming array. And before we send have this code execute, we want to add a message event listener to capture the result. So we'll just define a function array some listener. And we'll resolve the message result that's sent back to us. And since we no longer need this listener, once we resolve this promise, we can simply remove it. Now, once we do that, we want to just add this listener before we send our message request. Raise some listener. And now since our code is, since our function here in the main thread is a promise, if we log it, we'll just get a promise object. So we just want to fulfill it. So we'll just use the dot then function and within the callback, we'll just log our result and we'll just kill our worker process so that there isn't anything lingering after we run this. And should there be any errors, we'll just log it to the console. And if we were to run node main this time, again, our result is 10. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to hit the like button below, and also remember that your feedback is greatly appreciated. So tell me what you thought about this video in the comment section. To be alerted for future tutorials and videos, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Until next time.